So I don't know if you guys can tell or not based on the fact that I'm wearing a snap-on t-shirt or a snap-on hat, but I'm a big fan of high quality tools. I am a firm believer that as a t-shirt says, there is a difference. Snap-on tools are some of the best tools on the planet, but ultimately in the world we live in, there comes a time where you have to evaluate if a tool that is 10 times the cost is actually 10 times the quality. And this is not a snap-on versus anything else debate, but I wanted to talk about that because what we are here today to do is to look at this. This is the Best Arc Cut 55 XP. This is a plasma cutter that is under 300 bucks. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna open this thing up we're gonna see if it works, and we've got a couple of pieces of metal that we're gonna cut, and we're gonna see how well it cuts. If you need to get into a plasma cutter for a whole host of reasons, this is a really affordable price point to get into one, and what we're here today to figure out is, is this thing actually any good? Does it actually work as it is advertised? So, without further ado, let's dive right in. First things first, obviously, gotta get the packaging out of the way. This, this is one of my favorite thing. This is the second best arc tool that I've had the opportunity to review. And my favorite thing about this is it's tiny. Like it's just, it's highly portable. It's super small. And in my experience with these best arc machines has been that they pack a hefty punt. Oh man, unless you're like me and you didn't realize that you gotta have an air compressor to run this thing. But let's at least get it unboxed and see kind of what the uh, what the magic looks like. I got a second box here. We'll go ahead and open that one up. All right, so in that second box, we've got a lot of goodies here. We've got some line. We've got the uh, the ground, ground clamp, which I really like this. This is a solidly built um, ground clamp. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. And I like the way they've got the cord attached where no amount of twisting or anything like that is going to break this cord off. So well attached. This is what that looks like. Um, cord kind of comes up and through the handle and then bolts to the top. So that's definitely a cool feature. So there's our ground cord. This is the, this is the other one that I really like. This is the adapter that takes this big 240 volt and you just plug it into this and now it runs off 110. So portable, adaptable machine. I really like that feature. We've got a little miscellaneous bag of giblets, so don't lose that. Obviously, got the instructions. If you've never used a plasma cutter, these are really good to read. And then also this will walk you through kind of what dialing and all the settings. This machine does come with a, uh, like a, a, a screen display. And so it works, it's got a lot of features and functions and you're gonna wanna read the manual because I don't have time to go through all the features on this thing, but read the manual, don't lose it. And then obviously the piece that we're all waiting for is the actual torch head itself. So I like, first of all, this thing is like 10 feet long, which is awesome for working on a big project. It's got a little bit of a swivel. They're kind of in the end. This does take a little bit of setup. And then obviously it's gonna come with this little wrench for changing out the tips and stuff. So that's another one that you really don't wanna lose. Okay, so I thought everything through really well on this up until the point where this unit does not have an external or does not have an internal air compressor or an internal air supply. And so it has to run an external air compressor. And since I don't have that here, we are gonna to have to shift gears a little bit and move this thing over to the shop so that I can show you actually using this because showing you what the box looks like, showing you this lovely teal color that it is, showing you the screen, like this doesn't do you any good without actually seeing it cut. So let's head on over to the shop and we'll get this thing dialed in and we'll see if we can't cut some metal with it. The other piece that I wanted to mention though is the hose that they supply you in this kit it goes on the back and you've got to run it between the regulator and the air supply. This hose does not fit that. So I'm also gonna have to go and buy some of the correct hose to be able to connect air to this thing because out of the box, it doesn't come with all the pieces. So just be prepared for that when you open yours up that you're gonna have to go buy. It looks like it's gonna be quarter inch airline, which again, standard item to get, but this is not quarter inch airline. So that's, that's kind of a boo-boo on their part. Um, yeah, a little disappointed with that. Like I shouldn't have to go to the hardware store. I understand having an air compressor, you know, that's, that's pretty standard, but having to go and buy hardware just to be able to connect to it, I think, I think we could do a little better there and I'm not super impressed by that. So with that said, 
I'm gonna hit the hardware store, we're gonna get some airline, we're gonna head out to the shop, and then we'll keep this thing rolling once we're there and we've got all the pieces to put it together. Okay, so what we ended up doing was taking this thing up to the shop, hooking it up to a good solid air supply, and then doing some test cuts on a control arm. That's what you guys are looking at right here. So this is just kind of a quick and dirty, I didn't spend a lot of time adjusting the settings. I just wanted to see how well this thing cuts in just a quick hook it up and use it kind of fashion. And this thing did really, really well. As you can see, the cut is really clean. And what I really wanted to point out to you here is if we look kind of right here at this edge we can see how clean that cut is and there's there's obviously a little bit of slag kind of on the back that you're able to see there and that's because the air pressure on the regulator on the back of the unit was turned down just a little bit too low so there is some adjustment and with some time and practice with this machine you will be able to get even better cuts than what i was able to achieve here with this but this machine cuts really well for being 110 and for cutting through quarter inch thick steel, this thing does just absolutely amazing. I was genuinely blown away by how easy it was to use this machine and cut up metal with it. Um, really like the torch comes with a standoff pre-installed. So you just put it up against your material and run it across and it just cuts and it cuts really, really well. Uh, one thing to note if you are new to using one of these is this is your ground clamp. This has to make good contact with whatever the material is that you're cutting because again, this is using electricity to generate an arc and then air pressure to blow that molten metal out of the way. So a good ground connection is really important for that to actually work and work well. Anyway, this clamp, as I mentioned earlier, really solid design on that clamp, really like that, but make sure that you're cleaning up a section of your material so that that clamp can actually make good contact and work. But all in all, but to kind of summarize and just give you my honest feedback on this. So Obviously this is a, a sponsored video. Best Arc did send me this unit to test. So, you know, there is, there is some bias there, but I've got to say, given the price point of this unit, which is around $250, it's, it's well under 300 bucks to get into one of these. It plugs into 110, you hook an air compressor up and you can make good clean cuts right out of the box. There's a bunch more settings and adjustments you can make and obviously get a better and cleaner cut. This was just a quick, uh, for the sake of testing. This is a really great machine. There's a lot of features that come with it. There's a lot of, this thing packs a lot of power for being in a small package. So if you guys are interested in any kind of plasma cutter, again, kind of coming back to where we started this video with, you know, if if the snap on one is, is 10 times more, is it 10 times the quality? And I've got to say the quality of this machine from the testing that I've done has been just absolutely phenomenal. So I'm very pleased with this. I really like this unit. I am excited to add this to my collection of tools that I have for when I'm doing any kind of metal work, especially as you can see, we're out here, we're out on the farm. There's a lot of things that are gonna require cutting and fixing and that sort of thing. And these best arc machines, so I did this one and then I also did a, I demoed a welder for them. I will link that video right there. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check that out. These best arc machines do really well because they are affordable, they are compact and they run on 110. So really easy to hook this to a generator or you know in the back of the truck and take it out and go work on a tractor somewhere or run an extension cord. Like very, very impressed with these machines. They do really well. The, these ship directly from Amazon, so they're quick. You can get them really quickly. They work really well. They're well built. The, the design features are well thought out. So obviously this is a Chinese made product. So, you know, there's some questions. Is this gonna be the same quality as something you'd get from Snap-on? I don't have a Snap-on one here to test because I'm not spending that kind of money on a Snap-on one. So even with some of the materials being cheaper, the design is really well thought out. And that I think is, it is kind of the name of the game because ultimately, you know, you can get material from anywhere. And even if these are cheaper materials, but if it's if it's not well designed, no matter how good the material is, it's not gonna last. So this this product, from what I can tell, appears to be really well designed. And that's, that's I think, what makes this a really good option. Um, there is a air fitting on the back that you'll have to change out to whatever your air style is. Um, the fitting that it came with is not what I have on my air hoses at the shop. So we had to make a switch out, but that was not a big deal. I did wanna mention, as I had stated earlier, this little air line that runs here from the regulator down to the machine. That is in fact a 5 16 airline. So if you just go down to any auto parts store and ask for 5 16 
hard, it's a nylon airline is what it is, and just trim it to length. I use about six inches of it, and it goes right into the push to connect fittings. Super easy to set up. Screen gives you a digital readout of the air pressure, so you can adjust your regulator on the back, and the screen will tell you how much air pressure you have. So that's another cool feature that I really like about this machine. But that's, that's kind of all I've got on this machine. Really, really solid product. Lots of adjustability, lots of features. Well thought out, well designed, and the manufacturing quality seems to be pretty solid. So obviously, I haven't opened this machine up. I haven't used this machine for 10 years, so I can't speak to long-term reliability and longevity. But at the price point, I don't think you're going to go wrong with this machine. So this is, this is solid. I really like this. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. I'm just a guy on the internet, but I use tools for a living. I like, I, and I've been doing metal fabrication for quite a while, and this is a really neat tool. And if you've been wanting to get into a plasma cutter, but they're just an arm and a leg, this is a great option to get into one for a good price. So that's where I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful in some way. If you have any questions about this product or about other tools that you've seen on the channel, make sure you leave those in the comments below. I will do my best to answer all those questions. And if you are watching this video and you are a tool manufacturer or seller and you want a review video like this for your tool, please make sure you reach out. My email can be found over on my channel page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next video.